Ladies and gentlemen, I've achieved the unthinkable. We all know Splatoon is a very happy and colorful game. One of the most family friendly, well in the shooter market anyways. And it looks like a very welcoming game. Well, besides the community, but I'm, I'm talking about the game here, okay? But the actual game itself is very happy and colorful. But not if I have anything to say about it. This is Splatoon 3, but it's a horror game. So this is what Splatoon normally looks like. A rather happy ideal world to live in. But unfortunately, not for very long. I'm on a mission to make their lives miserable. How am I gonna do that, you may ask? Oh, don't worry. And the first step to absolutely ruining the quality of life here is by just straight up polluting the atmosphere. Boom, much better. It seems like they, uh, they don't really care. I don't really understand that. I mean, if the sky suddenly looked like this, would you would you care? Oh, speaking of the sky, I didn't change the sky. It's a little too happy and colorful. Ah, uh, yes, even better. Now, you also might be noticing, if you get really close up to a character, it doesn't matter. They still look very, you know, bright and cheery. But don't worry, I thought about that too. And now nothing is bright and cheery, although this does kind of look like a poorly rendered video game. Okay, this area kind of looks a little depressing, I'm gonna be honest. Just look at this. This is not, this is an oppressive atmosphere. I'd say already the atmosphere is pretty good. I mean, literally look at this. Like if you get rid of the uh, little UI thing in the bottom, this literally looks like a picture from uh, Serbia or something. This is literally what the UK looks like, bro. <gasps> what? But there must be some way I can take this a step further. If you didn't know, there's several different actual like normal versions of this plaza. The big run version, the sunset version, the day version, which is the one that I started in, and the night version. So let's change into that. And here we are, although it is uh, a little, little dark. I, I mean, uh, Oh man, this is like actually a horror game. Besides the fact there's lights in the sky, that that's a little not very uh, horror-like. There's not really any horror elements to this besides um the creatures. Okay, maybe I should uh you know change the lighting a little bit. It's a little dark. Now there's not really too many horror-related things we can do in the plaza. We can turn on first-person view, which uh oh man. Besides the fact you can see like a, a little piece of my hair flying everywhere, this is a uh, rather immersive as to what um Splatoon Doomsday would look like. What's the scary? map in this game. Undertow Spillway. Zoinks, Scoobs. We're gonna be playing Undertow Spillway with the horror filter. So basically, this is Undertow Spillway. Also, I just hid the UI, so there's no more like shot guide or any timer or whatever, but dude, this this is Splatoon, by the way. This is Splatoon. I turn off the music too, so that it's like really creepy and eerie and ominous, and there's just these little light things shining from the sky, just falsely reflecting any light in this area. Matter of fact, I think the lighting's still a little too bright, so I'm gonna change it. Oh yeah, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Remember what we started with? And now it looks like this. I was about to say the ink was gonna ruin this, except hold on. Oh yeah, now we're shooting pure blood everywhere. Look at that, there's, there's blood everywhere. This is Splatoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is the happiest shooter ever made, apparently. You know, maybe this whole video's like, uh, uh, what it's like to give a homeschooled kid a Mountain Dew. I love how like this whole map is extremely like creepy and ominous and then you just see like this massively bright colored green uh, thing. It really uh, kind of breaks the immersion. Also like the, 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 the plaza posts. But if I like angle my camera away from that, I mean, come on, this just looks kind of crazy. What's another extremely creepy map? Mince Me Metalworks, maybe? Oh, where's Mince Me Metalworks? Uh, Okay. Apparently, uh, one of my mods really, really, really broke Mincemeat Me Metalworks. Actually, wait, I can just go into Mincemeat Me Metalworks for like a different mode. Let's do Splat. Actually, what's a really creepy mode? Definitely Rainmaker. Rainmaker is literally a horror game in and of itself. God, I hate Rainmaker. And it's the same thing! What is this? No! I'm gonna die! No! Okay, well, apparently Mincemeat Me Metalworks does not want to work. Anyways, welcome to Hammerhead Bridge, everybody. Now, not nearly as creepy as the other map because, um, the other creepier maps just just would not work. I mean, there are some areas that look kind of creepy. By the way, this is a Switch game. Look at this. Look at this lighting, bro. This can run on the Nintendo Switch at 60 FPS, 1080p. I mean, like, Scarlet and Violet is like 720p, 30 FPS, and looks like, um, well, uh... Okay, there's no way to get around it. It looks like it is literal digital sh All right, next map. This is pretty bad besides the fact that um all these uh, little billboards still light up. So clearly there's still electricity, still people manning this place. And also windows that show that the outside really um isn't that bad. And there's this uh fat jellyfish just minding his business while uh, the, the world, you know, dies. I want to see what the other plazas look like. Um, this is not what I was trying to do. Th th this is supposed to be creepy, guys. Welcome to Inkopolis Square, ladies and gentlemen. There's a uh, surprisingly a lot of music going on. Like, like, do, do y'all not notice like what, what what's happening? I think it might be the skybox. There should be no light here at all. Here we go. Well, clearly they're too happy, so I'm doing something wrong. I wouldn't be. Look at that zapfish. You can barely see the zapfish. 
Hello, Marigold. All right, I'm going to the Splatoon 1 Plaza. We gotta do this. Uh, did, did my did my game crash? Uh, hello? The audio's still playing. Uh, um, hello? Wait, oh, it's back, it's back, it's back. Anyways, um, welcome to Angopolis. I wonder what Spike is doing in this little corner over here. You know, I'm be honest, I don't think he cares. I, I really don't think he cares. But I mean, hey, whatever. And this guy, uh, looks like me. Why do you look like me? Maybe my ego might be a little big, I don't know. What an atmosphere we're looking at here. And now that I, uh, figured out how to turn off the music everywhere, I'm like, let's go back to Angopolis Square, yeah. Oh, man, it, it, it is very quiet here. Yeah, it, it is rather, it is rather dim. Besides, <laughs> small fries, he doesn't care. Yeah, sure, it's a little dim, but whatever. I mean, man, we, like, th this is just an atmosphere. See, it seems like people are a lot less happy since the music's off. I mean, the vibe is definitely off now, though. God, just look at this, dude. If you walked outside and it looked like this, would you want to live here with all these dust particles floating everywhere? You, you, you know what I'm talking about. Look at all these. I don't know, man. I'd want to get out of here. Let's check up on the, uh, the one and only mouth breather harmony. Oh, okay. You're, you're just gonna kick me out because my internet's not on. Well, uh, I wouldn't do that if I were you, Harmony. Can you just, like, tell us real quick? What, what, what do you think about that? Oh, wow, wow. You're, she's really spitting facts, dude. Oh, my God. All right, well, unfortunately, um, I must go.